this light is really bright in my face. I can barely see my t computer screen right now, so I don't know how I'm going to play this. I hope it's not very uh, involved. Let's say that. Hello, everybody. It's slushy. Obviously. I'm, I'm nobody else. I've been on this channel for thir of almost 13 years. What are you going to get the idea that I'm not changing personalities? I don't have split personalities. This is a game called... What is it? It's called After Accident. That's what it's called. We're going to get into it. Flashlight. Fantastic. I was about to... Can I crouch? Why does it look like your tires are going through the pavement? Or are they just extremely fucking flat? Have we been here for like 100 years? That's the only way that'll make sense. I am flooring the sprint, sprint button. I already have my flashlight on. I'm not stupid. I've played many horror games. Okay? I'm not going to... Is that the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 flashlight noise? It is. I'm not sure. <laughs> I highly doubt Five Nights at Freddy's 4 was the first game to ever use um, that specific flashlight noise. But I assume that that's... I mean, it, it's definitely the same noise. I recognize that noise. It, it's definitely from FNAF 4. But I wonder if I, I, I what is this game supposed to entail? Just is it a walking simulator? I didn't <laughs> shut up, stupid crickets. I didn't read the description, so I really have no idea. LMB to open grocery grocery. I'm here to get some groceries. Oh, sorry. I was just getting down. Pal. Your smile freaks me out a little bit. A little bit like the movie Smile. Okay, whatever. Are you Employee of the Month? Did you make yourself Employee of the Month? That's the only way that would ever happen because you're a piece of shit worker. What is this? Why is there a jerry can just sitting here? Can I lie to Matt? Okay, I think it's repeating. Holy mother of ass. It, it was it called after accident? Bro. So they said they I don't know if you guys can hear that. It was very quiet. So I, I'm going to assume you guys probably didn't hear that. Okay, I'm, I'm also going to assume the things that are sticking out. Why is that so loud? Are you? What are you doing? Why is everybody so happy? Listen, I don't mind people being happy, but when you're way over the top like that, it's a little uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Pal. For ordinary people, why can't you put chips in a white box and just write chips in capital letters? Why complicate everything there? Dot. Well, probably in a red one. Or what? In orange? Well, I came to this again. The orange one seems to look tasty, but the red one is probably spicy. And I like spicy things. I'm Mexican after all. Probably still red or orange. It all goes in circles again. Well then, orange, but red is so appetizing. Or just by nachos? Well, anyway, should I take the orange package or the red one? I don't know. God. Why make such a difficult choice for ordinary people? Why can't you put chips in a white box oh. and just write chips in capital letters? Why complicate everything there? Dot. Well, probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That was funny. I haven't laughed like that in a while. Gasoline. Milk, catch, 
Ugh. Mineral water. Two packs of chir chips. Lays. <laughs> it's so specific. <laughs> There's my lays. What else are we after? There seems to be something on each shelf. Oh, there's my coat. Anything over here I need? <laughs> ah, dude. This shit, this shit, oh, wait. This shit is too much for me to handle, man. I'm sorry. This man really said. Did he? Did, I, I don't remember exactly what he said. I'll be honest, because I I started to kind of like burst out laughing, so I I stopped paying attention fully. But I'm pretty sure the man said something like something along the lines of "I'm Mexican, I like spicy things" or something like that. To that something to that effect. <laughs> oh man, that that was purely. And I like spicy things. I'm Mexican after all. Yep, that's exactly <laughs> Dude, what? What? Ha so because you're Mexican, you have to like spicy stuff? Is that it? Listen. You're Mexican. If you don't like spicy foods... If you don't like spicy foods, are you even living? Uh, canisters of gas gasoline. I already got two Cokes, got two chips, mineral water, ketchup. I didn't grab ketchup. I think we already grabbed juice. Did we already grab juice? I already grabbed all my chips, so I know it ain't that. Did I already grab everything? I say because it's not letting me grab anything else. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Am I done? Hello. Welcome oh. to the shop store. Do you shop need store. to sell your goods? No, I'm trying to buy. Fine. From you thirty-one dollars. Okay. You don't have a cash register, pal. Goodbye. Is it up your is it up your ass? Thank you. Enjoy your... I, I hope you figure out your problem, pal. Nachos, spicy chips, whatever. Oh, God, dude. What? Oh, no. Were the chips too spicy? Oh, no. Oh, no. The chips were too spicy. He wasn't Mexican enough. That was the problem here. Can I turn? What's going on? Like, what's really going on? I was just cracking a joke because he was cracking jokes about himself. It sounds horrible. Did man get murdered? I think he got murdered. There's a key. Okay, so is this kid taking a horror, a horror tor turn? I'm going to be honest. I didn't really expect to, to laugh that bad at this game because the, the part on the radio actually gave me chills. I was starting to get a little bit creeped out and then that happened. <laughs> This game is just one big tease. I was literally talking about how this game made me laugh and I didn't expect that or blah, blah, blah. And then literally I opened the fucking door and there's the scariest jump scare I've witnessed in a long time. What the hell is this game? What, what, what really is this game? What is this? Why does any of this exist? Where did the guy go? Why is he gone? Is he dead? Nacho Man. Where's Nacho Man? Is he gone too? Is he dead? I guess Employee of the Month decided to quit. Who's going to be the Employee of the Month now? For what? Be... Why did you kill my daughter and son? What did they do? They won't even hurt you, and you didn't even dare to admit guilt, but instead you will suffer all your life, and in the end you will die in agony from not realizing your action. Hi. Oh, God. 
What you got for me now, pal? Well, although orange looks tastier, and daily looks fresh. Well, still, should I get orange or raspberry water? Well, why come up with such complex flavors? Why can't you just put ordinary water? No, you need to come up with water with different flavors. Wrap them in a beautiful wrapper so that your eyes will notice and fill your belly with money. Well, although orange looks tastier, and daily looks fresh, well, still, should I get orange or raspberry water? Okay, this one's not nearly as funny. You need to be funnier, pal. That's that's not enough. You need to up your game a little bit. Can I finally leave, or is some AI voice gonna tell me that I'm ma I've made a huge mistake? So I'm gonna put a theory out there. Either I killed the shop clerk's kids, or I killed Nacho Man slash Orange Mister Indecision. I'll call him that, Mister Indecision. That's a canon name. Developer, take note. Write it down. For the sequel. Uh, what is that? I'm getting off to the side just in case that's a car. We, too many people have already died by a car accident. I'm not going to be a part of that statistic. Okay. Okay. I I want to say this. I love the concept. I love the style. I love the idea behind it. I love the little plot that you have going. Um I don't know if it, that the part that I laughed at was meant to be funny or if it's just because you used the AI voice that it came out funny. I mean, in general, the conversation was absolutely insane. Like because you're Mexican, you have to like spicy chips. Like I've met tons I've had friends who were Mexican who hated spicy foods. Like, they couldn't even stand Takis, which Takis ain't shit. And so the whole stereotype of Mexicans only liking spicy foods is just total horseshit. I'm not saying they don't, there's not a lot that do. I'm just saying there's, it's not just a Mexican thing. Like, I love hot foods. I literally have a bag of Takis sitting right here, right now. Uh, speaking of, by the way. Um, I did enjoy this game to an extent. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to blow smoke. I never do that. I'm not going to say a game's great when it's not. But for a first attempt, I'll say this. This is fantastic. This is a great start. I know my opinion doesn't mean dirt because I'm not some big YouTuber guy like Markiplier. But what I'll say is if you polish some things, maybe get some real voice actors instead of AI. Because the AI is always going to make things ridiculous. It's it's close to being good, like really good, but it's not close enough because it makes the game sound really cheap and really ridiculous. You'd been better off playing all the characters with your own voice because it's just, it's just I don't know, it's hard to get into it whenever I hear the AI voices, man. It's just, it's a killer for me. It's a game killer. Uh, but I enjoyed it. The jump scare scared the living hell out of me. No joke. One of the, some of the scariest jump scares I've ever witnessed, uh, mainly because it was totally random, which is perfect. I didn't see it coming. I went from laughing to being scared, which that's the ultimate way to craft a jump scare. Make someone laugh, jump scare, because their mood is in a totally different place. Because when, when you get out of the whole, I'm anticipating a jump scare kind of mood, and one happens, it scares the hell out of you. So again, fantastic game. Keep at it. Make another one. I'll be happy to play the next one. Uh, and again, biggest tip, use voice actors or just do it yourself. Uh, AI is definitely a thing that I've, I'm not a huge fan of when it comes to games because it just kills it. Uh, I do wonder if there's something back here. Like before I end the video, I want to make sure that there's no kind of secrets. No, there isn't. Okay, I was thinking maybe if I went back there, maybe I could find the bodies of the people who I hit. So I, I'm the killer. I'm the guy who did the accident. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I like if you did. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.